Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is another deck review. Uh, today we're going to look at the Illusionist Bicycle Gaff Deck. And from my explanation, we're going to use the red one. Illusionist does sell this same deck in both red and blue. Uh, the Bicycle Gaff Deck is their first gaff deck that they released. That was before Ultra Gaff and before the Arcane Gaff Deck. Um, this deck is a full collection of just really special cards that are beautifully and artistically designed to just kind of secretly ninja-like fit uh, really quietly into your normal bicycle deck. Um, and these cards will just allow you to perform some really amazing illusions that probably you didn't think were possible before. Um, if you buy the deck itself, it doesn't come with any instructions, and it's really not meant to. Um, if you order this gaff deck, you will be um, offered uh, their training DVD called Army of 52, and it stars Justin Miller. And Justin Miller goes through the deck, and he offers um, a lot of suggestions about the, the different gaffs that are included. Um, let me just say that of the three gaff decks that Illusionist offers, this one is my favorite, and I think this one is the most working. Um, mo there are more cards in this deck that will work and play in real life than I believe the other two um, decks have to offer. That said, I also appreciate the Army of 52 video with Justin Miller more than I appreciate the other two. Um, again, I think just because Justin has um, some really creative ideas, and I think that his ideas even apply to the other two decks, even though the cards aren't necessarily exactly the same, you can still take Justin's teachings and apply them to the other um, two decks. Um, there are some cards in my deck that are no longer available. Uh, if you buy the deck today, but um, that's okay. Uh, the box itself is completely reversed. All, all the writing and language is, is backwards on the deck all the way around, uh, so that's kind of interesting. And then in the UPC, there is a card reveal, so that's just the box itself. Um, and I'll go through a couple of these cards. Uh, there's a backwards five of spades and a smeared three of spades. There's this uh, zippered four of spades effect. Um, there's a four of clubs that has a card reveal. On the back, there's a five of clubs with a missing uh, spade in the center. This king of diamonds has the, the pip that's slid down here. There's a burned uh, hole in this card. There's a set of shattered aces, uh, sorry, where the, the pip in the middle has been cracked. There's this blurred card that would work, uh, work really well if you did like a pirouette flourish. Um, there's another blurred card. Um, there's this fingerprint card on the four of spades. Um, this Four of Clubs has a burned card reveal on the back, and there's a black card, which is really it looks like just a print from an old, uh, another one of their decks, <laughs> like the Black Tiger deck or something. Um, there's a Three and a Half of Clubs, and I believe you get two of those. And um, some of these other cards I'm going to explain uh, in a little bit more detail in another section, but I just wanted to give you kind of a, a look-see at these cards. Um, Here's one of the reasons why I like this deck a little better, just because some of these cards are just a little bit more um, workable. They're not as fantastic. They're not as um, crazy and over the top as the Arcane deck and the, and the Ultra Gaff deck. And you're going to get a lot of um, cards in this deck that are actually sold in other magic tricks. And, and this is one of them, and I want to kind of go into this one a little uh, in more detail. Um, the Pip Matrix set, the Four of Spades here, where the Pip slides around, this is actually an effect that was invented by Doug Kahn, and it's in his book, Tricks of My Trade. And here's the reason why I can appreciate the original inventor of the effect uh, more than even Justin Miller's. What Justin Miller does is he takes, the, uh, he takes the, the perfect good four of spades, and then he slides them around, and then he hands the spectator this card, which is clearly a gaff, clearly printed. You know? and, and my biggest pet peeve is when you hand your spectator the gaff, and they hold it in their hands. Um, for me, magic needs to move the other direction. You need to move people from the gaff to the actual card so that when you leave, you're leaving them holding a, a real card that they recognize. And so this is what Doug Kahn does. Doug Kahn takes this four of spades and he says, isn't this a weird card? It, it came with my deck this way, it's, you know, it's broken. And what you would typically do with a busted card, and some people don't know this, is that you would take the busted card plus the ace of spades plus the joker guarantee card, which is why we have the joker guarantee, You'd mail all that to the United States Playing Card Company, and they would send you a replacement card. And then he says, fortunately for me, I'm a magician, and I know how to fix this. So then he proceeds to take these pips and slide them around on the card, and then he hands them you know, a perfectly good four of spades. This leaves 
a normal card in your spectator's hands and they are forced to figure out well, how did he slide these pips around? That's more powerful magic and, and I think that's uh, the approach I would always take with gaffs and that would be the approach I would encourage you to take as well. Uh, let's take a look at some of uh, these cards a little bit more closely and let me explain some of them for you. Hey, I wanted to move the camera just for a little bit because I wanted to show you um, the cards that aren't included in the Army of 52 DVD. Um, really, out of an army <laughs> of 52 cards, there are no routines or n and no effects for 25 of the cards. That's almost half the deck, you know? That's barely an army. It's more like a platoon. Not to mention the fact that there are cards in the commercial for what seem to be a, 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 a other effects that are never explained or, or they're kind of left to guesswork. So I kind of just want to show you which cards are not gone over in the, um, the deck or the, the videos itself. The first would be all of the force cards. So all the force cards that have like two jokers like the raven, the skull, and the seer, and the, the king on the bike, there's no explanation for any of these cards. Um, of course, you would understand how to use them. You know, you'd, you'd, you'd use them as a, as a reveal for any sort of force. But just so you know, there's no uh, videos for those. There's also no video for this, the eight of clubs smear on the two of spades. I'm, I mean, of course, you can figure things out for that. I'm just showing you the cards that there's no explanations for on the video. Um, there's also no explanations for these uh, three ghost queen cards. There's no explanation for this uh, blue-backed bike with a center tear. There is no explanation for um, these four random aces right here. There is no explanation for this six of spades um, back. There's no explanation for this uh, ten of diamonds that's fallen. There's no explanation for these uh, skull kings. There's no explanation for a, ten, a red ten of spades or these... Um, cover, uh, box covers. There's no explanation for this aged six of spades, and there's no explanation for uh, this pair of uh, ace of spades. Hey, I want to take a moment just to show you some of the reveal cards. Um, here's two sets of jokers called the seer, and there's a reveal in one. And there's uh, two crypt or coffin reveal cards, and there's a hidden reveal in one of them. And then here's a, a raven of sorts and with a reveal in his eye, and then there's a standard uh, bicycle joker, and he's holding the back of a card and then it's revealed. And then uh, here's a set of jokers from one of Illusionist's other decks that also has a reveal hidden in the ground. And I want to show you um, a little trick I do, um, not a magic trick, but something that you can do um, if you have these cards and you don't know what to do with them. Uh, one of the things I'll do is I'll take these coffin reveal cards and also this skull ace, and these four Skull Kings, and I'll take the, this set right here and replace it uh, in a normal deck. So I'll remove the Standard Jokers, remove the Ace of Spades, and remove the Kings, and put this set in a standard deck, and then I have a brand new uh, designer deck called the Skull Deck. And so uh, that's a little uh, thing I do with some of these gaff cards. Hey, I wanted to go over real quick some of the other gaff cards that are in this deck that are actually attributed to either other magicians or other magic suppliers. Um, the very first one is this three and a half of clubs. This is actually a gaff that's sold by Murphy's Magic, and I believe they're the ones that actually invented this. Um, this six of spades that's kind of bled through the top of this four of hearts. This is Jay Sankey's trick, and it's called Single Ambition. Uh, this ten of diamonds where the cards, uh, pips have all fallen down to the bottom. This is somewhat similar to the finale card in an effect called Presto Printo. Uh, this 13 of diamonds is a gaff that is also made by the company Royal. The four of spades uh, pip matrix. Um, this is an effect that was invented by a magician named Doug Kahn, and it appears in his book, Tricks of My Trade. And in my opinion, it's a far um, better effect. Um, and then last, this uh, four of spades that has the uh, card reveal written uh, into the scrolled work. This is also another Jay Sankey effect called fine print. Hey, I also wanted to explain uh, these two cards that come in the gaff deck, uh, but they're not explained in the video of Army of 52. They're actually explained in the ultra gaff video, which is kind of interesting. Um, these are the two cards that are used for an effect called unicycle. And here's what you do. In unicycle, you force the ace of hearts, you have it lost in the deck, and you comment that your ace of spades will find the chosen selection. 
uh, you urinate the ace of spades with the ace of spades missing center icon, and then you go through the deck face down, and one card is seen with the ace of spades logo on its back, the ace of hearts, and that's the effect for unicycle. So like I said, just to recap, of the three decks that Illusionist sells as gaff decks, this is the one that I appreciate and can use uh, the most.